Well, welcome to another exciting episode of Our Road to Camelot. And as you probably have noticed, we have, uh, we're at State Farm Stadium and Tom's Camperland in Surprise. And we apparently, yeah, we were probably, we were apparently there longer than we thought we were going to be. And we wandered through an awful lot of rigs. So, so many to see. So many cool ones. And so many different floor plans. Yeah, so basically, uh, we've already seen the the tiny the tiny rigs we saw mm -hmm. the dry the small drivables mid-sized mm -hmm. drivables those are really cool so stay tuned in this episode we're going to be covering the mid-sized and larger tow trailers so here we go come along Yeah, uh, this one thing we didn't talk about in the in the last video, mm -hmm. and that is one of the advantages for a trailer as opposed to a drivable is price. If you already have if you already have your tow your vehicle to tow with, um, like we were looking, I don't think we saw anything that was. I mean, it was a hundred thousand and more, ninety thousand and more. Um, here, this one trailer we're standing in front of right now, this Voyager, thirty-six thousand nine, and it's a small trailer. yeah, but you look at the living yeah. space. The thing is, for the living space, yeah. if you added the whole front end vehicle to it, you're at a hundred thousand dollars. So this is a Winnebago Voyager V two four two seven RB, and this is a new twenty twenty one. Let's take a quick look. They have the. Glide right stairs in the back, but conventional stairs in the front. Okay, now this is actually a really nice Whoa. trailer. <laughs> you need to come in, and if you look here, right to your right as you're coming in, check out the closet wow, and that's pantry a lot of space area. Right in there. Exactly. The bathroom is very spacious. You're going to step up into the shower. Lots of nice room. Once again, you're looking at a trailer, and we were looking... You got the fireplace, yeah, TV, did. entertainment center. Now, here's the thing. We were looking at vehicles that were over $100,000 a minute ago. Look. Whole oven. An oven. RV Which oven, but an oven is the same. And, of course, you've got your three, three burners bur and your microwave, which is really neat. So, wow, that's an interesting microwave. Yeah. Lots of great storage. Nice size, um, looks like. It's a Dometic, so it's definitely Dometic. an RV fridge. So, nice size, not bad, um, as far as the size of the fridge goes. Again, more storage. Yep, more pantry there. And then if you don't have your table up, you have a little desk right here next to it. Again, with, which is really nice. Everybody's going with the USB, USB ports. And this is a 2021. And besides the bedroom back here, you got another door access outside. Of course, that's not the glide right stairs, but that would probably be more of an emergency exit. Mm -hmm. So it's uh, not bad for, not uh, bad for you know, the a nice... price and what we're looking at here. So. Exactly. Pretty it's cool. something you could spend a nice couple of weeks in or more so. Take a look. Oh, there we go. Step down. Okay. See what sort of outdoor storage might be on this. There's one here, but that could be this is actual storage yeah so you have pass through storage I don't know if you see that all the way in there or not it's pretty dark but that storage goes all the way through and typical of pull trailers spare tire batteries and propane tanks will be on the front that's kind of standard so you don't have separate doors for your propane and batteries they're all usually on the very front end not bad. That's by Winnebago. If you look at this here, and you look at the way they're built, with the tires and everything here, they are made a little bit more off-road or that boondock camping, which is really kind of cool. So in here... This is kind of weird. It's almost like it has a roll ball. Really cool. <laughs> this one has, you know, like I tell Steve, no cooking of the fish inside. Here you go. Yeah. So this one's really kind of cool. Again, it's more of an off-road kind of vehicle if you want to do that boondock 
Okay, so this yeah, is the Winnebago H172BH, which BH usually means bunkhouse. So, okay, nice big so first step. So you're gonna have your bed area again. And table and, and chairs table. with a booth. Mm -hmm. Whoa, high steps. Usually these go a lot more when they're the heavy duty ones, but this one for 28. Yeah, this is an excellent price for this. Again, you have small, a two burner stove, you have a microwave, and you have your fridge. fridge. No. This is a weekend warrior vehicle, yes. and for off road, let's go where no vehicles want to go type here. driving. And you got your bunk. You have your bunk space back here, which is great. And okay. As and always. Oh, well, separate shower and bathroom. Can we see that in there? Yes, let's go down. Yes. There we go. So this is a great vehicle oh. if you want to do some off-roading, go back uh, boondocking. With, yeah, with air. With air. Now I didn't see it. Oh. There's paths through storage yeah. down there. What I was looking for, and that's a heavy duty box. There is no generator on this, so if you needed to go out, you might want to carry a generator with you. Another trailer right now. These are the, some of the new colors in the, in all, you'll see them not only in the trailers, but in uh, the fifth wheels and some of the other uh, vehicles. It's, it's known as the cottage white, which I really like. I think it's beautiful. So the white and gray colors um, are beautiful colors. Again, this is a nice little trailer here. I love this new flooring that they put in, um, which For is the slides, great. Yeah. It's yeah. The carpeting the was always a problem, but now they're, they're actually finding ways to get away from it. Get away from that. That's so awesome. this one is a bunkhouse also, but it's a kind of a little small bunkhouse back here. You have well, actually, your bunkhouse that's pretty good area. size. <laughs> kids would love it. I have seen people who do full-time living with kids in this size rig. In this size rig, yeah. We do have some friends that have done it. So it's got a lot of nice storage in here. So you've got some cupboards in here, several cupboards, uh, shelves in here and stuff. So it is a, it is a really nice um, RV. Um, again, you've got steel sinks in there deep, which is nice. Again, oh. your three burner your stove and your micro your shirt girl microwave <laughs> so oh this is nice, nice. I, I like yeah it's pretty good size uh you got i'm sure there's plenty of storage under the bed too beautiful out. rig though beautiful okay. let me get the number on this one oh heartland that's right heartland trail runner 261 BHS and can't beat the price either. I mean, there is some undercarriage storage on these, not a lot, but there's some undercarriage storage. And let's get in your gas tanks in the front. Let's take a look at a Winnebago, shall we? Um, full size pull trailer. This is a long rig here. It's the Winnebago 3235RL. Let's take a look inside. Okay. And here's so basically, our... this is our fifth wheel on a trailer chassis. <laughs> oh my gosh. So it is really Holy beautiful. Holy cow, here. it is. Lots look at of that. space. You've got a really nice area here for pantry. I wish they had a bigger fridge. That's the yeah. only thing I would have. This is really cool because once again, you've got your pop-up over here for um, new USBs and things, or electricals, extra electricals. Again, a smaller fridge, but nice still. Wow. This looks, I don't know, uh, this is a convection oven that they do have in here. And you got your stove and cooktop. This is great. a ton of space in here. TV. Lots of space. Oh wow, you got this. Really is our place. setup. Uh, it is I basically mean, even, even almost the, like our setup. Even the cupboards on each side of the couch. Yep. They've got several drawers over Across here, and lots of nice storage underneath. Theater seating. Mm -hmm. Table and chairs. Yeah, I, I'm really impressed with how much space is in this thing. This is a trailer again. 
So yeah, if you really if nice. you blew it and you have a smaller truck, you didn't get the one ton like you, but you can still get into a fairly large rig. This is a towable, and I'm sure. I don't know the tow weight. Maybe we'll go look that up in a second. Now what's really neat is right here, you don't have as much uh, closet or drawers, but you do have a closet in here, and I'm going to oh, go up cool. on the other side. That's a washer and dryer, or you can use as as your closet. So let's go see if they have the badge to let us know what tow ratios are in this thing. Let's see if we can find the badge. There it is. So the gross vehicle weight is 10,400 pounds. Wow. Remember where it says the weight of cargo should never exceed. That's basically the 2,000 pounds plus cargo that you're carrying. But I don't see the tongue weight. I'll look at this later. If it's there, I'll put it in. But the tongue weight is basically what's going to go against your vehicle's payload. So whatever weight is off of the tongue is what your payload will be. Okay. The light is North Trail Ultralight. Now this one has one pop out where the one next to it, behind it, actually has three. Well, this is an ultralight, and what we're looking at here is we're looking at the gross vehicle weight on this one is 8,600, 8,000 pounds. So that's 2,000 pounds lighter than the other one we were just looking at. So let's take a quick look inside. Usually ultralights are not necessarily rated for full-time living, but this would be an awesome vehicle that you should be able to tow with a powerful enough truck. I don't, you won't need a one ton for sure. The outdoor kitchen. This one actually, the bathroom is right here as you come in. It is a two sink. It's nice size. Oh, that's nice. And two medicine cabinets. Um, the dining table is rather small. Uh, one shaped couch. Yeah, you know, one on either side. Nice size kitchen though. Beautiful size kitchen. Short grill microwave. <laughs> okay, Oven. this is cool. Doodle station. You got oh, the little no. ones. They. This is actually a chalkboard cover, so they can doodle oh, all they want on the chalkboard. So that's really kind of neat. Smaller um, fridge though. This is a pretty decent kitchen for. It is. It is a nice kitchen. The bedroom is small, no real closet space, per se. Oh, they have a little bit over there, so there is some yeah, around the, the side. So. It's a nice model. Now, this is a single pop-out. There is one other one I would like to see um, behind it that has actually three pop-outs. So I want to see if this... Uh... Oh, okay, oh, well, so Marcy. this is the farm sink farmhouse sink which is really i prefer a double sink for rinsing and washing some people like a farmhouse so again the coloring is that new lighter coloring in it with the gray tones to it really nice so this is the 2021 thor twilight 2600 tws it's 26 foot long with a gross weight of 7,826 pounds and a hitch weight of 826 pounds. As we take a look inside, we do have a couch as you immediately enter with storage above. In the front, there is a bedroom area with cupboards above and side hanging closets, large king size bed, a booth dinette, entertainment center, standard RV refrigerator, cooktop, oven, microwave, and sink, and fair amount of storage. Also has a bunkhouse in the back, and a fairly decent sized bathroom with a sink, separate shower, and skylights. And also plenty of storage around the entertainment center. Is that a toy hauler? I think it's a toy hauler. So this is the 2021 Keystone Outback 342CG. 
It comes in at 10,500 pounds gross weight and 960 pounds hitch weight. Two slides on the side. It's a toy hauler. This is very cool. With a bunk. So you get the toy hauler door in the front bunkhouse. Two beds that'll fold down. Some extra storage for whoever's sleeping back there. Wow. This is a very nice size bedroom. Barn doors for the bathroom. It's a nice size bedroom. So a queen. Yeah. Ooh, nice big window. Um, I don't know. I would say this almost looks like it could be and a king. You got a second door for the bedroom. Mm hmm You got drawers in there. A lot of counter space in the bathroom. A closet. And a nice spacious living area. A full entertainment center with storage above. For a oh. full trailer, this is actually a really great room. Yes, out. it is. This is really, really nice for a full trailer. I love this. And a very cool innovation of a roll-up sink cover for draining. So we're going to end this one here, but fun. We're, yeah, we're not done yet. Uh, so first of all, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and hit that bell and it'll let you know every time we post, which is every Sunday at two o'clock. Give us a thumbs up for good measure. Next week, we're going to start looking at the big fifth wheels. So we're going to get into the big boys. So uh, stay tuned. Safe. Yeah, this might cost me. Uh, she loves some of these floor plans. It could cost me in the long run. Anyways, stay tuned, see you on the road, and safe travels. Slancha.